Welcome to another episode of Game Boy Roulette, where we take a look at randomly chosen games from the Game Boy Library. Play Action Football. Well, yeah, I was planning on playing it. Wow, we made it a full nine games before football came up again. That's a new record. Football has got to be the genre that showed up the most on Game Boy Roulette, with this being the eighth game. This one is at least timely, what with the Super Bowl being, uh, two weeks ago. Yeah, let's go with that. The problem is, I think I ran out of ways to talk about Game Boy Football games four games ago. Some of them do football well, some of them do it poorly, but for the most part, they follow the same general mechanics. After all, it's a bit hard to really change up football gameplay without getting mutants involved. So instead, let's focus on the developer, because while the NES and SNES versions of the game were made by Tosei, the Game Boy port was handled in part by Nintendo Research and Development 3. R&D 3 was mostly a hardware division, responsible for the creation of some of Nintendo's best systems, the N64, the GameCube, the Wii, and the new 3DS line. But every once in a while, they dipped their toes into the world of game development, the most notable games being the cult hit Pilotwing 64 and the beloved NES game Punch-Out. Oddly enough, I can't find any info on how much Tosei and R&D 3 each put into the game, but apparently Tosei helped develop nearly a thousand games that it doesn't put Put its name on, and supposedly that's by design. They're a mysterious company. They're like Tuxedo Mask, only they actually do things. This is without a doubt my favorite football cover for the Game Boy. Just a huge pile of humanity. I can't even imagine the play that resulted in this. Also, realistic offensive and tough defensive strategies? You spoil me. Time for yet another handheld football game. They want us to play, so let's play Play Action Football. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. I love when Game Boy music has that slight echo effect. Play action football. Let's do this. Wow, that is a minimalist screen. Okay. Level? I assume this is difficulty, so let's just start with level one. I'm assuming they didn't have the rights to the teams. And it's just the Chicago Chicagoians, the New York New Yorkers. The Denver Denverites. Uh, Chicago. Um. Am, am I this Pokeball? I am. Maximum. Kick. A right, little basic looking, but that's not bad. Um. Oh, touchback, right. Right, that's how football works. Oh, I, I accidentally chose a play there. Alright, let's do this. Okay, B to flop on the ground. Uh, select to change who you are. Okay. Uh, why does it does it only give me like a second to choose my play? Uh, oh, no. Okay, top left you hit up. Top right you hit right. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Well, it's running, all right. Nothing super special. Movement's a bit slow, though. Don't you dare try to tell me that was a voice clip. That sounded like the ocean exploding. Okay, so yeah, so select just moves you straight over to whoever is closest to the ball. Again, pretty basic. Oh boy. Darn it. No, stop him. Stop him! Why? Oh no! Oh shoot! Oh god! <laughs> Look at the bean go! Man, the graphics are a little silly. Like, they don't quite look like football players. They they seriously look like beans that someone's attached a head to. Oh, loose ball! I think. I do like that the music only kicks in once they're moving forward. I think that's a nice little touch. I wonder if it kicks in if we, like, tackle them. Or, sack them. Let's test it now! Wow! Okay, um... So I just decided to sack them, and then I sacked them. And that means I can play this game. Which puts it far above many of the other football games we've played for Game Boy. Fourth down and goal. Are you gonna kick it? Oh, they're gonna kick it like cowards. Haha! <laughs> Alright, we're on offense now. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. So B threw that backwards. All right, let's try that again, shall we? A. B. What? How do I throw? Wait, I'm confused. Oh, God, what happened? Okay, there we go. I hit B. Oh, what? Wait a sec. I'm confused. I just, I think I gotta look up a guide. Because I actually do want to see how to throw properly. Guys, let him through. Let him through. Cool, thank you. Alright. Ooh. Two whole frames of animation. Let's go see how to actually throw a pass properly. It's one of those where you have to hold the direction the receiver is in. Okay, that makes more sense. Let's see if we can complete a pass. If we can complete a pass, I will call this a success. <laughs> that does not look like a football player. I don't know what it looks like, but it's not a football player. Okay. <laughs> I keep forgetting that there's a designated flop on the ground button. I actually have to wait until they're in the proper location, I think. Got it! Yeah! Okay. All right! Oh my god. Darn. Still, 20-yard gain. I'm happy with that. All right, so it's... I had to do a little bit of research, not much, but the controls of the game are actually very, very simplified. Hang on. Let me try something. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I, every time the flop gets me. Run negative 18 yards. I'm not good at football, man. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. Hiya. Oh, what? I had that. Darn it. Oh, I probably should have done something else. Now they have the ball. So, it's pretty basic. Pretty streamlined, I'd say. But even with that, it's, it's kind of fun. It's definitely not the best football game I've played, but again, I'm able to do things. And therefore, it's far above a lot of the football games we have played on Game Boy Roulette. Not to mention the dedicated flop button. Every game needs a dedicated flop button. That was certainly a football game for the Game Boy. There is something big I want to talk about with this game, but we'll get to it. Let's start by saying that the game was, in general, pretty solid, even kind of fun, especially compared to a few of the other handheld football games. The controls were fairly responsive, and the gameplay was perfectly fine. As I said while playing it, the fact that I could say that I wanted to get a sack, and then get a sack, means the game was simple and intuitive enough to accomplish what I wanted to do. That may not seem like much, but there are plenty of football games where that's a struggle. So really, this game was pretty solid across the board. Board. But that's kind of the problem. Yes, it did everything well enough, but it also meant that the game doesn't stand out in any way. The gameplay is fine, the graphics are fine, the sound is fine, but it's also fine, there's nothing you could latch onto. It does just enough to be considered fun, but nothing that makes it interesting. It's like trying to review a big white sphere. What am I supposed to talk about? Every other football game has done something, either good or bad, that gives it an identity, but nothing about this game is gonna make me remember it in a few weeks, if not days, if not as soon as I'm done with this video. And in many ways, that's the worst thing that a game can be, because good and bad games have their merits, but this game is just forgettable. It's about as middle of the road as you can possibly get for a game. It's perfectly fine and certainly not bad. Some fun can be had. But if you want a memorable football experience in either direction, you can do much better and much worse than play action football. Okay, I guess it does have one thing going for it. I'll never get tired of that flop. And that's all for another episode of Game Boy Roulette. Make sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe to follow the series as we continue to dig through the Game Boy Vault. I'm Brian J, and I'll see you next time.